Consider a situation where you're given a data set with two rows x and y. You're then asked to find the value of y for several x locations. A natural thing to do is just look up in the table provided for the desired x values. But what if those values aren't different from the ones provided? How can you solve a problem like this? Believe it or not, machine learning is a way to solve such problems. I'm oversimplifying things here, but this is somewhat similar to a lot of example cases involving machine learning that everyone is familiar with. Like image detection, where a network predicts whether the input image is a cat or a dog. For this case, the image is supplied as a tensor of pixel value on which several operations are performed before transforming that into the output which says cat or dog. To enable output predictions, the network is first trained on a bunch of cats and dog pictures. This can be seen as a table with X row representing the image data and Y row representing the corresponding label. The similarity between two problems isn't uncanny for someone who understands how machine learning works. That's why I think it's very important to understand the fundamentals and get excited about the potential of the technology rather than falling victim to the hype generated by sheer marketing. In this video, I'll start by introducing a very simple example of machine learning called linear regression. This is where I'll demonstrate visually the idea behind machine learning and explain intuitively a mathematical concept called function approximation. It's the perfect gateway to the more complicated world of machine learning. I'll then dive into the details involving problem formulation and then discuss cost function which is used to quantify how far off the selected model is from the optimum results. I'll also visually demonstrate the landscape of cost function. Finally, I'll end with the detailed demonstration of gradient descent algorithm, which is the backbone of everything in machine learning. Here you'll see how key differentiation is to machine learning alongside a visual description of the model learning from the data. Without further ado, let's get started. Looking back at the data set, there is a better way of visualizing it by creating a graph with the column labels X and Y along the two axes and then plotting all the given data points. Theoretically speaking, I can get the value of Y at desired X locations if I can somehow represent the given data points as a continuous function. This is called function approximation, where I have to select a function among a well-defined class such that it closely matches the given data set. This function can be something as simple as a linear function with slope m and intercept b. For example, if m is equal to 0.05 and b is equal to 0.25, the line would look something like this. Now, as I change the value of m and b, the line would change as well. And if you look carefully, sometimes it fits well and other times it doesn't. In fact, most of the times, it doesn't fit nicely with the data points. It would be practically impossible to go through all the combinations of M and B to find a line that approximates the data points best. And this is where I can use machine learning techniques, which takes in a bunch of data points and return the function that fits the given data best. To enable a computer to learn on its own, it would need some framework. Looking at a line passing through the data points, I can say qualitatively that one looks better than the other. However, a computer can only make sense of numbers and that's why I need to somehow find a way to quantify this. This is where the concept of cost function comes in. It's just a fancy name to denote the error made by the selected line at the X locations where we already know. Hence, for a line that fits well, cost function will return a small number and for a line that doesn't, it returns a larger number. Now let's define cost function mathematically. So I know that the function representing a line is written like this. Values of M and B decide the nature of the straight line. To calculate the cost function value of a specific M and B, first evaluate the function fx at the known x locations. A cost function is then defined as the mean squared error between the predictions and the ground truth. 
In simple words, just subtract each pair of green and white dots, then take its square. Once you have all the dots subtracted and squared, add them together and in the end just divide by the total number of dots, which is 14 in this case. Now you can see how the cost changes with different values of M and B. It would be interesting to see how it looks on a graph. For this simple case with only two variables, plotting shouldn't be too difficult, although it'll be a 3D graph. All I have to do is define horizontal axes with M and B values and the vertical axis will show the cost. Here you can see the cost function for several combinations of M and B. The problem now is to find M and B for which the cost is minimum. And this is where I can use a simple algorithm called gradient descent. The very first step here is to just make an initial guess on M and B. A common practice is to pick very small numbers for both. To visualize this, look at the plot of cost function where white dot indicates the current location. This can be seen as a problem of going downhill to reach the valley. However, I need to get the direction in which I should move and that's calculated by differentiating the cost function with respect to M and B. It's quite easy to differentiate this function analytically which gives the direction in both M and B. Mathematically speaking, I should increase M by 1.91 and B by 1.105. Let's just do that. Whoa, that just went straight through everything. You can even see the plot on the left side that has gotten worse. For this reason, another term called step length is added in front of the derivatives to ensure that it doesn't overshoot. Step length is usually kept small and I've set that to 0 0.1 here. Now it's much better and you can see the dot moving towards the minimum. All I have to do is just repeat this a few times and it'll reach the bottom. Amazing thing about this is that as it approaches minimum, derivatives get really small, which results in even smaller steps and this becomes zero at the minimum. This is when the model has converged. Today, I discussed function approximation as the starting point, then moving on to the definition of cost function and finally the gradient descent algorithm. The linear equation discussed throughout this video is also the most simple neural network. Formally it's known as single layer neural network with linear activation function. Differentiation is a big part of machine learning, hence in the next video I'll discuss a way by which a computer can differentiate any function automatically. This is known as automatic or algorithmic differentiation. I'll then move on to discussing deep neural networks that is the backbone of most of the things that we hear about in today's world. If you found this video informative, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks.